Hi Rosanna. I've got the survey results about working conditions. My boss wants me to write a report. Can you give me some help? Sure, Donald. Let's have a look at the results and see which aspects are a problem. Thanks a lot. There were seven aspects which staff were asked about. Things like lighting, heating level, and the pantry. Well, first, only those aspects with low satisfaction are a problem. It looks like these are the equipment and furniture for junior staff, while the pantry is a problem for everyone. I understand. The aspects with low satisfaction are the areas where we have a problem. So, any idea why junior staff are unhappy with the equipment? I think it is probably because senior staff have just been given new computers and telephones, while the juniors have computers that are over five years old. Yes. You're right. And this means that the computers of junior staff often slow down when many programs are being run at the same time, so reducing working efficiency. How about furniture? Well, I know some staff are disgruntled with their chairs and desks. Before, my wooden chair gave me back problems, while the plastic desk had uneven legs. You know, my back problems led to me taking four sick days in one month. Okay, that makes sense. So, why is everyone unhappy with the pantry? Is it because it is quite dirty? Yes, I think so. The cleaner only comes in twice a week. So there are always dirty cups and plates in the sink, while the rubbish bin never gets emptied. Also, there's just one fridge and a water carboy. Maybe we need more utensils there. This way staff would be less likely to leave the office at lunchtime, so they could relax more and work better in the afternoon. You seem to have all the right ideas, Donald. Remember, use headings, subheadings and numbering to improve your organization. I'll do so. Also, I should use formal language, right? Yes, and use approximation, for example half, rather than 50%. Also, it's safer to use hedging words like probably unless you are 100% certain. Thanks, Rosanna. You're a great help. Bye.